Hi, I'm Vic, and in this video we're going to carry on where we left off, rebuilding the front suspension of my Jaguar Mark II. The next part to go on is the hub with the disc, and to do that we're just going to give the bearings a quick clean. Uh, they all look pretty good shape, but we're just going to give them a very quick clean uh, and re-grease for popping it back on the spindle. Okay, let's get this fella fitted. Just going to pack a little bit more grease in. You can't have too much grease. So this guy's got a little key on him. So we'll align just in there, like that. This one, I like all the other castellating. That's in great condition because it's been living surrounded by grease its whole life. You would be amazed at just how expensive getting Imperial castellating nuts is. Tighten it up. Right. Well, the trick is. You wait till it feels nice and then back it off a touch so there's a tiny amount of play in it so that oh glove smashed so that when you're actually on the road this guy's running around getting nice and hot this will all expand so you have a little bit of slack in the bearing when you put it on to take account for that expansion if you do it up right tight so it's all really nice and when it's um cold as it expands it will just bind the bearings and destroy them so don't whack them up tight also never reuse but split pins they cost next to nothing and oh man, rubbish. yeah just don't don't think about reusing split pins <laughs> just get some new ones will be a lot safer much safer than trying to do up uh, the front uh, front springs as we tried last time that was proper dodgy but hey ho needs must there we go beautiful he runs great pop the cap on where's the hammer Sorted, on to the next job. Next bit to go on is our steering control arm. Uh, interesting bit about this guy is that as he sits on there, I don't know if you can see, there's a gap just there. The uh, the disc brake actually, or the, not the disc brake, the caliper uh, actually sits in that position there. So we need to fit both of them at the same time. Now, normally I don't like reusing um, nylon bolts uh, nuts rather but unfortunately I need to get this car back on the road sharpish and I haven't had a chance to order up some new ones so we're going to reuse this old one uh, and there's a couple of old ones that got reused around I'll get some on order and replace them later when I go around and give the whole suspension a nut and bolt check after it's done a few miles just to let everything have chance to seat properly and settle in just a bit of good practice oh, this guy's tough could do with a bigger lever on this oh, i've got one what am i doing oh this is slow progress you don't watch me do this we'll cut to the next bit and through the magic of editing ta-da all done right now to get this chap back on. Look at him, he is horribly grotty, although someone has replaced these pistons recently. Uh, these uh, pistons, yeah, piston, caliper, whole thing's a caliper, I'm going to call that a piston. Someone has replaced those recently, so they're in not bad shape, um, but they're, this thing is full of grot and horrible, but that's the job for another day. So I've just put a little bit of red paint. I don't know if you can see that there. Not very well, maybe. 
There you go, a little bit of red um, on those guys. Why? Why the hell not? Um, mind you, the red paint's just gone a bit manky, so. <laughs> oh well. I've got a spacer that lives in between these two guys, which is why I haven't done this guy up. How many videos have you seen of people just using rat shit? <laughs> don't know if you can see on there with this light. I really need to get a better light, don't I? Uh, these are uh, good rich braided brake lights. Not that braided brake lights do a huge amount, but uh, nice job, new ones. Where the car coming on the car? So I don't know if you noticed, but these I'll sort of sound out. These bolts here, I've got little holes drilled through them, so that's for um, wire lock. That's the fellow wire lock. So wire will go through there, through there, tie it up, and then use a special tool to pull it, which I don't have. I haven't got any wire lock, but they're on there with spring washes. Uh, wire lock, yeah, but they're on there with spring washes, so. I'll have to do for now. So as I was trying to get this tie rod in, I started doing a lot of swearing because the ball joint started moving uh, as I was turning this guy. Um, now I'm not going to claim this is my own trick. Uh, I'm sure plenty of other people have figured it out before me. But it came to me in a slight brainwave to just put some load up on the uh, on the tie rod end here so that the tapered joint would just start to bite uh, and give me enough leverage to be able to turn that guy without him spinning. So that was an absolute result. Uh, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Next job, anti-roll bar. So I've already put some grease onto the, um, the bushes there. And he just mounts up on each of the chassis, chassis rails. So this should be an easier one, I hope. Not like the last ones. For some reason it came with spacers on there. I don't know whether that's stock or or what. Which way did this go originally? Let me have a look. So the spacers are factory and no, nope, not that way. They go on the bottom. Oh, another drill bar I need four arms. So it looks like the kit I bought has not got the bushes uh, for the drop links. So I'm going to have to reuse the original ones. Uh, contact the guys and it's quite an easy one to change. Uh, just take the wheel off and you've got straight access to it. Again, health and safety police. They are the original um, nylocks, but <laughs> I did actually order some new nylocks for this job. But uh, I ordered coarse thread instead of the fine thread that these guys are, so that's why we haven't got new ones. But I okay, have got an option of two. And you probably had a glass of wine when you're ordering it. Um, then Sosvall says you're going to get the wrong one. I think rather than damaging this, I'm going to, have to do it the other way. Because this guy's going in at a bit of an angle. Ideally, the suspension would be compressed a bit so that that sits square with him. Um, but he doesn't at the minute, so. Yeah. So we're going to try the other way around. Reason being that the bottom of that guy is metal. I'm going to put the nut facing down so water runs out of the threads rather than into the threads. So yeah, the, that bush has got a metal, um, metal bar in the middle. So if I try and jam him in, then he's just going to scrape and kill the paintwork of the new powder coating, which will just go against everything that we've just done. Oh, it's not my day today. Really not my day today. Let's take that 
spring washer and put him on the right side. This is boring for you guys watching me do up nuts and bolts and all the annoying bits and pieces. Right, so hopefully that can just go straight in there. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Just got to tighten that up and do the other side. So as you may know, the anti-roll bar uh, connects effectively both sides of the... Google, what are you doing? Mad phone. <laughs> so, as you probably know, the anti-roll bar connects both sides uh, and stops you getting body roll. Um, now, you don't want to connect two sides too hard with too big an anti-roll bar because then there's no point having independent suspension. But, as uh, somebody forgot, um, if I do the bar now first uh, on the other side, it means I can't get this guy in because this won't move because the two sides are connected. So I've got to undo this guy again, fit it on the other side, then come back and put it on. It's been a long day. I'm getting tired, clearly. For the observant among you who probably saw me do this, uh, I forgot to include the um, uh, the collar over this guy. So that's got to go back in anyway. So I was always going to jinx it saying that I get the car driving this episode, but we did get a lot done today. So we've got uh, the hubs on, the brakes on, uh, the anti-roll bar is on. Um, so last thing to go in now is the shocks. Um, but I thought I was getting tired. Rather make mistakes. I'll, uh, I'll come back fresh next time. And get those last bits sorted out. Do a final nut and bolt check. Uh, there's still the split pins to do on the wishbones. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll get that done next time. Uh, and maybe get her driving. We need to get her driving pretty soon. So yeah. We'll see you next time.